It is um January the fourth, twenty twenty. I mean, 2021, January the 4th, the one about the baby, 2021. Whenever you're ready, we'll be out here. Okay. So, what 
I'm going to let you start back with what are your issues right now that you'd like to bring up? Uh, um, CJ and Jenny. Okay, I had like a minute and 20 um, seconds, approximately 25, I don't know, seconds left. But, um, and I said, okay, I can still, I like, I could work up until my time to get off the clock. So I was like, um, Jenny, come on, grab a broom and um, sweep. He said, go ahead and clock out. And I said, why? I, and he said, I, and then he said, you um, don't have to, um, I don't know word for word, but this is what I'm saying in, in my words. You don't um, have to run and tell you guys. I just have to tell you about this girl clocking me out early. Yeah, it has nothing to do. I don't want to make stories. Don't want to make stories. Keep going. But that's, but that's what he said. He brought the story. He said, you don't have to. I just told you and Paul about this girl calling me down. I don't want to talk about that. And what he, is and this he, situation? That's what he brought up, though. He said, you, you, we've been doing this a long time, and you, um, we don't care what um, what they say. You don't, you ran, and, and so this is, and I'm just um, putting it um, um, right. Verbalizing what <laughs> so did he, he use said. the words we don't care? No. <laughs> you, yes, he did use the word we don't care about <laughs> what they say. Now that I do Whose remember. Name is that? Because uh, uh, um, I just had to talk to you. So who would who would it be? It would be you. I, I don't know. He, 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 on, did, he brought, did you tell him about our conversation? <laughs> uh, I'm telling you what. I'm only. I'm he just, did not know we had a conversation. So what I'm trying to find out is you're starting out with what you're well, saying. Well, who, well, let's ask them. Who who is they? Um, James. Who, First of all, what I said was, me, Thomas, and Phyllis have been doing this more than 60 years. Mm -hmm. If you would just do your job, you wouldn't have to go to CJ Call or whoever. That's what I said. I don't have to stand here and lie like you do. I'm not lying. Go ahead. So keep, keep it okay, up. so now he That's just, he just admitted said. to why he, he didn't said, that. He, he just said, said what he said. Know, keep going. Okay, now and then and, and then I said, sir, I, I you know, because I was I had just told him I'm going to um, go sleep and um, sleep before. I mean, I have uh, just a little bit of time, like a minute or so, okay. and sleep uh, real quick. And he wanted me to clock out early. Okay. So uh, and, he, and he said I wasn't doing my job. He said he got. Uh, he said I don't do my job. And so that's where the issue came because he's like, it's not saying okay, I'm, so I'm he's not you, telling me to clock out early because no, no, no. we're done. He let said I'm not doing ask, my job. Let me ask you this: If you didn't say you weren't doing your job, would you still have an issue with him asking you to go ahead and clock out? If it's legal and lawful, no. Let, let me let me let me back you up with all the legal <laughs> office. I'll bring you in. And I just totally research what I know that's and legal and lawful. Don't go down that road with that. We do everything legal and lawful. You. If you want to go down the road, I'm not trying to go down the road. I'm no, just no, no. telling you. When I say legal question, and lawful, you ask the question, man. Right. Sorry. Legal and lawful, they can ask you. Go to any other place. We are 100%, and I will back this till the day I'm in the ground because I know what kind of company we run. The way that we allow people to get hours without cutting you out of here, without cutting hours when times are bad, without it being a slow day and just saying get out, you will not find that anyplace else. Okay? We are allowed as a company, not as a James, not as a me, as a laws, <laughs> and if you look at other things, to ask people to leave, and let me rephrase that, to tell people it's time to clock out before their scheduled time. There's nothing illegal about it. There's nothing that you're owed for pay about it. There's nothing anything. If you want to get real technical, and that's why all these girls that come in here to us late in the evenings or do it at five with their other work, wouldn't let them leave and stuff. Because legally, and you're going to find that everywhere else, if you're scheduled for four, and I, as a company, say, you have to stay late because my next person isn't coming in until five, I can legally make you stay late. Can I physically hold you here? No. But legally, I can tell you you have to stay for work. Mm -hmm. And it can also be used to let people go to decide if you're doing the right thing or not. Now, I want to clear that up. Mm -hmm. Then I want to back up and tell you that's not how I want to run things here. Thank you. I do not want you guys being faced with you have uh, other commitments, this, that, and anyone here telling you it's you're going to stay till five and you're scheduled to get off the floor. It's not fair. It's not right. Likewise, we're not trying, if you notice, I don't have everyone say, oh, labor's bad. You just walk in the door, 
you can't talk into that because we're so slow. We don't do that. But I'm going to tell you, I think it's 100% fair, the idea that within a window of time, if people are being asked to leave a little bit early, or taking to wait five or ten minutes, being asked to leave. There is no issue at all. So the whole idea that someone's saying, I don't get off for four minutes, and I want my exact time, doesn't fly. It's not cool, and it's ridiculous. Okay, I understand that first, so I think the second half of that is, okay. the, the, whether he says, hey, the place could be a disaster, the manager decides to say, hey, you know what, go ahead and clock out, we'll take care of this later, same thing. It's not a matter of everyone, if they'd rather get the people off the clock again, so be it. So, so what I will let this conversation boil down to at all is the idea is if you don't feel she's doing her job, then let her know what it is you would like her to do. But regardless of that, regardless of you doing a good job or not, if they ask you to get off the clock, it's not a huge deal. And it's not just. I think it's, I think the issue I thought I, I was it's like okay when someone say get off the clock after they call you dumb. He didn't call you dumb. No, no. No, because, no, no, I, I, I have no, 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 what, so, no, no, so we're going to have some issues with you keeping separate the different, no, no, but no, because, no, I'm, I, I just, I'm just saying, or if someone said get off the clock so you didn't do your job, this is because it's, um, it's all in the same, but he didn't actually say that, because if you want to keep playing that, no, he did, he didn't say get off the clock because you're not doing your job, no, he said we have a problem with you doing, you're not doing your job, and that's what, but he never referenced that to you getting off the clock right there, he told me that's what he You guys got into a longer discussion, just like we are here right now. He did not say you're not doing your job, get off the clock. He said we have a problem. He said the problem is with you is you don't do your job. That's what he said. That what? just like he just said, he he uh, knew that I um, he said. Okay. Um, so I'm here's the deal. CJ. Here's the deal. If there's something you need her to do to perform her job better or in a different way, right. then we need to let her know. I'm trying. On the flip side, I'm we're sorry. not going to hold him accountable for anything that we still have outstanding that we need to talk to Phyllis about. Yeah, or words to use there. That. That's not fair either. Fair. So we have to watch our words. Yeah. And I do agree, whenever we want people to get better, we have to tell them what we expect so they yeah. can get better. Yeah. Aside from that, there's no real issues with any of the other things that's going on. Yeah, because today, well, let me well, explain well, some of the things I've done today. He no, said I don't uh, do my no, job. no, 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 because I don't have an issue with you doing your job or not. Here, okay. here, here's where you make it an issue. Just like you were talking about sweeping, and you just stood there. I said, okay, go go ahead and do what you gotta do. And I walked away, and what you did was you proceeded to stand here in front of me like this right now. Because you just Every, have to tell no, me no, to get off the clock you're not listening. have a problem with me not doing my this job. You're doing this, but you're not listening. When you said to me, I have this certain amount of time, I said, fine. We'll get to do what you got to do. Because you kept talking about sweeping. I moved on over here and stood there, and all you did. Was standing after my like this. And you were the one talking about sweeping. And I said, Go ahead. Do what you gotta do. I closed my mouth and I stepped back. And you did nothing but stand there. But when you go to them, your story changes so much they don't know what to do. And that's not true. So, okay. 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 And I wanna explain I wanna explain after after he stopped me from sleeping, because I once again going back to a minute and some odd seconds before I got the clock, because I was like, I can do this real quick. He stopped me and he said, We have a problem this is the problem with you. We don't care and so and this is so much in so many words. What you tell them and I and he just clarified who them was. I said, okay, CJ and okay, 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 okay. call. And and I said like, it, when he stopped me just like that and started mm -hmm. telling me these things, right. it shocked me because I only just had right. a minute and a few odd seconds to go. Like and then and, 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 and so that's the problem. Because I I try to work all day long. Here's the thing. Are you happy here? Yeah. I mean, 
what does, oh, what does, I mean, I, I like customer service, especially okay. if I'm, if I'm, I'm this thing. is how you know I'm this happy today. This should not be today. distressful. This right? is how I, this, this is, should not be distressful. This is how you know I'm happy. Because, you know, when, they, when right they need ice in that driveway, I'll go get ice. I am not when they happy need, right when they now need because this should not be distressful. When they need someone to wipe, when they need someone to wipe, this is how you know I do it. No, 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 see, that's what I'm saying. It's not them that need anything. You don't work for James or Phyllis or Thomas because they need you, Phil. It's because it's the job. Right. Requires when the job. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. I do it. You're just keep going. I'm trying this to say that part, shows that I'm happy at of, what I do. This is part work ethic. of getting hours and working well and everything. This amount of stress does not help your cause. That's well, the stress I feel is because of it doesn't sound. I just gave you an example. I give you an example that, didn't, that didn't matter, that didn't make. I mean, that didn't make sense to me. I was like, why do you see you? But it makes me? sense now because he can't ask you to leave and get off the clock. The one word that I would ask him to change is telling someone you're not doing your job okay. without changing it. Everything else, there's absolutely nothing wrong with. Okay? And what I'm telling you is there are 50 people, excuse me, 40 people on the roster that we are not having the same issue constantly and the stress that you feel from some of what's going on here. And, and I'm telling you, and each time I talk to you about it or whoever, then I, it proves why. Because if someone tells, if they tell me to jump, I say, what do you want me to do? They say, go do this. They, I say, what? Well, okay, sure. But that's not, that's so not I what I'm telling you. Then problem, if that's how you feel, then you need to back yourself I, down I, I, I so don't, much. I don't. Because this is too stressful. Why? No, it's stressful when someone tells me that I'm not doing my job and then tell me to get off the clock. And then when we're here, you you can see you see you. I do not see. You. Uh, I do not agree. You don't agree. No. Okay. I told you the one thing I would agree he that said I would, I'm like, not doing would like him to elaborate on. I don't even care if he tells someone they don't they're not doing their job, okay. but he is as a responsible person should go on to say this is what I would like. Okay. Everything else here is not an issue or or thing. What I do believe is an issue is some personality uh, issues. I don't people. have any conversation personally with anybody here about business. If they say do the then product, I do the product. Then on a business issue, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, this but is it, way too stressful. Yeah. Why? You should not be being this stressed out. And we should not be having. I, how much time have we all devoted to this conversation? Maybe, uh, I don't think any. I don't think any. Um, any, any employee should be told to get off the clock because you're not doing your job. And then we'll I have a conversation. I think maybe you should go get a part time job somewhere else and see what's going out there in the world. Because I do agree with you that I want employees to be treated 100% as I would want to be treated and fair. Right. But what you are considering unfair is, I don't know where you're getting it from. There's nothing unfair about someone asking you to go ahead and leave. It's not unfair. That, I not, that wasn't the Wait, issue. Man. The issue is saying and you're not doing your job. Have I agreed with that? Have you're I, not doing your job. And well, then, hold on. Well, let me ask you something. <laughs> it's not why you asked to leave. Okay? <laughs> let me explain something one more time. You were asked to leave. I don't see a problem with that. We all agree with that, that it's fair. It's whatever. The words he used, he is now required to say, hey, let me elaborate on what I'd like you to see. What more are we now having this discussion about? Nothing, that, that's it. That, that's, that's what I'm saying. I've agreed with that part of, on you. James, I would tell you, be an adult, don't sit there and give them. No, you weren't, just now. So that's not helping a situation either. Okay. So those are the little things that we do that I'm going to say we can't do. Okay. Okay? Just like the elaboration. However, dragging it out this much, not necessary. I heard everything you have to say. I agree with, with the two points. Everything else is being mushed in together. Okay? You, we need to separate with our next conversation that we have with Phyllis out from this one and all kind of other things. The whole idea that you want to um, start bringing up him and saying they don't care about it, I'll deal with that if I need to. Okay? The idea that they've asked you to leave earlier or anything like that, not an issue. And I 100% in my heart believe you're being treated fairly as everyone else in here. We're not telling you when you walk in the door like other companies, you showed up and got all the way here to work at 9 in the morning and I tell you at 9.30, go home. That's not cool. And they can do that, and we don't. Okay? So I do take it to heart when someone does 
feel like that. Because I don't want you to feel like that, especially when I know what we try and do that other companies don't. So I hate that hurt what you're saying. I swear to you, I am not brushing that off. But I know so much of my heart, if you go look at what some people are doing and what you're quote allowed to do or whatever, that we don't do those things. Okay? I don't view it, and if you have a difference of opinion with me, that's okay too. It's like when I'm saying, hey, within a 15 minute window, if you're asking me, if you disagree with that, I'm okay with that. But I'm just telling you how we've gotten to, you know, where we're kind of sitting with that's not a big deal versus it's not cool for you to walk in the door because you can't talk to them, right? Everything else boils down to, yes, the one thing I majorly agree with you on in Phyllis's situation, the words that don't mean anything about the work where she's calling name calling, not fly here. What I expect out of a manager or anyone here, if they uh, critique someone, now it's up to us to give them the what you want. So it can't be the arbitrary state. No, and what you're saying is so true. that's where we are. Okay, what you're saying is true. And she stood there. I said, well, fine. There are the tweets. Right, right. Okay, okay. Okay. Stop, stop. Yeah. So that, me, that statement again, you're going right back to the same thing I'm getting uh, upset with her for. That doesn't mean anything to where we are in this conversation. The part that means anything at all is if you're going to tell her, it's cause that's the problem, you're not doing your job, and she wants to know, well, what does that mean? What would you what do you expect? Then we should give her what that expectation is. That's what I did. You're saying, when we say they're not doing their job, mm -hmm. tell them exactly what they're not what, doing. Right. Mm -hmm. And I explained to her mm -hmm. one of the biggest problems mm -hmm. is stop talking, listen to what we have to say. And she's saying, what are you saying? See, okay. you're, you're crossing okay. it too. No. That, that is okay. a, uh, what that's I part of the okay. personal I'm whatever. Okay. You're not listening to me, you're not okay. listening to me, that's good. Now. But she's saying, what are you asking me to do? That's now, what she said. Okay, after I said that, I said, you want to sweep? Yes, that's what I was going to do. Go ahead. That I didn't know. answer the question. You just said, what do you want to do? She's saying, what do you want me to do? No, I told her, since she kept insisting about sweeping the floor, mm -hmm. I said, well, Rhonda, well, go ahead. Go ahead and do it. You're not you hearing do. now yourself, though. You're getting your own grade now. All right, because I'm missing something there. Yeah, you are. Go ahead. You said, if I said, James, your problem is you're not doing your job. And you said, what? My what do you want me to do, CJ? That's what you would say about okay, well, James, you're not doing your job at all. At all. Okay, my question. What, what is it you need me to do, CJ? Oh, what am I doing wrong? Oh, Just go pull the tires. Do you feel like I've given you any input as to what my problem is? Not really, but I'm going That's to what you did. Fire. You said, your problem is you're not doing your job. She said, okay, what is it you want me to do? And you said, just go on back to sweeping. That's right. not giving her the feeling of anything resolved, and you're telling her what you're asking okay, her to do. I'm, this yeah, would be an answer. Now, I'm not just the main no, answer, yeah, If yeah. she says to me, see, that you said you're not doing your job. And I said, here's what I would like you to do. Mm -hmm. The things that I need you to see, see is when you don't have customers here, uh, I want to be sure these counters are wiped down. Right. Before you go over there and wash your hands, make sure that uh, we waited three minutes for this. Right. Um, instead right. of coming here to scoop fries, mm -hmm. I want you to wait here and uh, count to 10 before you make a drink. Those are specific oh, things right. instead of just saying, right. Just go do this. Just go do this. And just go do this right now, and we're not finished this conversation. You see the difference? Yeah. Yeah. Me, if I were to say to you, instead of saying, James, you're not doing your job, you say what's wrong, I say, just go filter the fires. Me saying, James, you're not doing your job. What you should be doing is when you come in every day, mm -hmm. you, your first 15 minutes are spent doing this. Mm -hmm. You need to make sure everyone's getting people out on break. Now, you are doing a good job doing this. However, I also need to be sure at the end of the night you put your paperwork like that. Mm -hmm. That's what she's looking for, not just a just go finish. So when we make a comment to someone, it has to be because a comment, especially someone that cares about their job, and he cares about the work she does, it's not even us, Burger King. I do believe she cares about anything she does, whether it's here, 
whether it's helping someone walk across the street, she's going to do it, you know, what she feels is the proper way to do it, right? So when you have someone that cares, and she's been here since nine, ten, and yeah, someone comes in today, someone comes in at the end of the day after that last hour overlapping, and slams her with, you're not doing anything, and she's saying, I've been here since 10 o'clock, you haven't seen what I've done all day long, and you're telling me from all these hours I'm here, and you come in here, that I don't do my job, or I'm not good at doing my job. It messes with people's heads. I see what you're saying. Okay, so we gotta be fair to that. Yeah, I try to be fair. I believe in being fair and just. I'm trying to hear you. Okay. There are some things that I, I, I want you to hear on. We're not done with these conversations. Hope we're done with this one for now. Thank you. You and me are going to finish up the yeah, we'll deal because that hat is going to go right into the same thing. No excuse for a certain word. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. One, one last thing while, while we're here. Okay. When we talk about rules and regulations and laws and all that, just like you taste me, if I wanted to be rude, I could have had charges pressed on you because you broke the law. No, I didn't. Yeah. That's fine. We'll leave that alone. We'll leave that alone. Okay. We'll, we'll leave it alone. All right? We'll okay. leave it alone. I was just having a conversation with them. My genitals were being attacked spiritually. And uh, this is dealing with spirit, uh, spiritual. And as uh, CJ was speaking about, he know within his heart that um, they try to follow things the right way or so many words. My, my heart started to uh, skip like a little bit. He was patting his chest and my heart started to skip a little bit. So anyway. Um, that's what I was experiencing and I um, also in the bathroom I felt like a slight um, pain around my head as well so um, anyway um, uh, the reason why I, cause I, I just told Carl and CJ about Miss Bella's calling me dumb and asking for those hours back. She caught me out hours ahead, not because she, it was because she was, she, she was angry with me and she called me dumb. She, she just said dumb and then she told me, after I corrected her in a polite way, don't say it, I told and reminded her that I never call her out her name. She told me the to clock out. I said, I'm not looking out, I ain't doing nothing wrong. She didn't say you wasn't doing your job or we were slow. It was this, it was because um, I corrected her and asked her not to call me dumb in front of the customers and in front of the employees. And so that was the issue. That's the issue. Um, so and that is personal. And um, then and so James brought up being recorded again. Um, as though um, and he's um, and he's definitely lying. So the thing is, it's not about doing something. It's the reason why you do it. It's the reason why why these things are happening. I don't, you know, I don't know any of them personally. Uh, you know, um, so and I wanted to tell the day such a, my work ethics. I swept. I changed the sanitizer water. 
I cleaned the shake spinner. I um, restocked the refrigerator with orange juice, apple juice. Um, tried to keep the um, counters wiped down, sanitized, the bowl sanitized. I expedited the food. But these are the things that I do on a daily basis. Sometimes when we don't, you know, I try to, if um, they need ice in an ice bin, I do it. Whatever they need me to do, uh, mop. A lot of times I would sweep and mop, but I'm only swept a little bit. I changed the trash today. So um, I didn't mop today. Um, so, and I didn't um, put ice in an ice bin today. I didn't have to, someone was doing it. But um, th um, these are the things I do on the day when I work. So I didn't understand when James uh, said the issue with me is because of um, I I'm not doing my job. Because what they tell me to do, I try to do it. And so, um, so, these are, and right now I'm experiencing four sharp pains in my left ankle. So once again, it seemed to me, that, you know, so that, I don't know, it, it just seemed personal and I don't know why it's personal because I don't know any of them personally at all. None of them, I don't know any of them personally. So it's just calling me dumb. That's a personal word. You don't know me, why are you, why, why are you calling me dumb? So that's what so that was the issue um james brought that up he because he obviously heard me um ask for those hours to be placed on my check again and and i was telling carl and cj why i said because um phyllis caught me out after calling me dumb for a reason there was no reason to call me dumb and no reason to say word dumb in the first place i told them also about her calling me a stupid b-i-t-c-h in other words I, 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 you know, so James, when I was telling him I had to sweep and use my, and use a dustpan, I mean, not sweep, sweep, he, he brought that, he, he literally said, I don't care what they say, we as managers don't care, we've been doing this for some odd years, and we have a problem with you because you try, he, he brought up, I think he said something about me um, trying to tell them something and they've been doing it for a long time. And they, so in other words, the, um, he used the word, I don't care what they say, he clarified what they was, CJ and Carl. And then he said, then he um, said, I don't do my job. So that that's the issue. So that, and then, and then it sounded like he was trying to lie. So the thing is, the issue is, is a lot of these things that could, that are happening could be stopped. You know, I am a Hebrew Muslim. I'm a Moorish American. I have not ever um, implied, I, you know, I never, that I, Thomas is still saying Mo to the customers. He is still addressing the customers as Mo up until this day. He is still saying mo to the customers. I have never been in any restaurant or any place where someone would say mo. How you doing mo? That's another black male customer. He is still addressing the customers as mo. So, the thing is, it's not about me. I'm not trying to personalize, nor am I trying to engage with them. I just try to do my job and leave. That's it. But it seems, the thing is, it's trying to be, it is a, a, um, a personalized situation because they're making it personal. I, they're not saying I'm clocking you out because we don't need you, the time is slow, so many people. I'm clocking you out because I called, you know, I was irritated, called you dumb, and you asked, and um, after you addressed me and said, don't call me dumb, I clocked you out. Cause she she threatened it for a minute, and I still stood up. I, I kept saying, "Don't just don't call me dumb." Cause no, I don't think any employee should say dumb or stupid. Bit. I mean, any um, manager should call anyone dumb or stupid. B i t c h. 
to an employee in front of customers. For no, I mean, and it's like irritation come out of nowhere. In front of customers and employees. So Dora today, as she was moving aggressively a little bit, as she was trying to grab something, she seemed irritated. I said, Dora, you know, I said, you, um, I said, you being a little bit aggressive. She's Spanish speaking, she's from El Salvador. She said, I said, don't be valid, okay? And then she, and then she, thank you. She said, and then she, and she didn't, she didn't say I apologize. She said, Miss Phyllis is coming. And she looked at me like in a way like, I don't know if it was a joke. I said joking, but literally it was like, you know how you try to be sarcastic in a warning, joking way? Because I've said that to Miss Phyllis so many times. Miss Phyllis, I'm not valid. Please don't be valid. And I said, that's what I said, I'm not valid. Don't be valid. So when she said Miss Phyllis is coming, that lets me know that she, that so they know they know the issues I'm having with with um, with violence is for no reason. It doesn't even have to be. That's the thing. It does not even have to be. But is they're creating a situation with someone whose nationality is more American, whose um, religion is Islamism, who have affirmed to uphold the U.S.A. Constitution of 1787 the 13th Amendment with 20 sections, and all four of Abraham Lincoln's proclamations. Naturalization. So I've been naturalized. That's the issue. And I've asked Miss Phyllis to tell me why she doesn't want me to stand next to her, and I asked her that she only speak to, that she speak to everyone this way. She, she straight out told me, no, it's only you. So that's the issue, Islam. Anyway, it's January the 4th, 2021. So, in, once again, I didn't, Dora brought Phyllis' name up when I was, cause I, I was like, she didn't say she wasn't being, you know, aggressive. She said, whoops, so nothing like that. It was obvious she was irritated. I don't know why she was irritated. And it was right after um, Marilyn had dumped, um, I think it was, um, f yeah, the five toast, the French toast sticks in the bin, but she didn't say hi. So uh, she dumped French toast sticks in the bin. She didn't say hi. I said, Dor uh, I said Marilyn. I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was Marilyn. I'll leave room for error. I'm pretty sure it was Marilyn, but I'll leave room. I said, don't forget to say hi. Burkin will appreciate it. Say hi, because uh, my actually I was at the same time. I was, um, it, my hand was in the same bin. Uh, scooping up, um, I think onion rings or um, something or French toast sticks. But I know at the same time the um, French toast sticks came down at the same time as I was um, um, from her dumping them while my hand was down in the bin, but she didn't say hot. So um, she's Spanish speaking as well. And that's, I just wanted, I just reminded her because it's important. I said, and I'm pretty sure Burkin appreciates it. Islam, it, you know, so, and, I, and I've told Kutzak many times to prevent any injury, any form of um, lawsuit, whatever, that, you know, you just, you know, that's what you do, so it's just, so that's, that's, so it, the things that are happening doesn't make sense to me, Islam, um, Imani and I, we're about to eat, you know, we've been on a vegan vegetarian diet for a very long time for years so um you know um you know i'm still i was thinking about getting our organic coffee again because i got so much to do but anyway we'll see uh, i'm still um eating starch and some of the stuff i um like the ranch dressing sometimes i think the ranch dressing has milk in it i'm not sure organic ranch dressing i'm not sure but i have to be careful with it so uh, we are almost completely, um, our plan is to be completely vegan. So, um, but um, so as you know, so tonight, uh, Imani has probably made um, pancakes, um, found some um, non-GMO um, gluten-free pancakes, which I'm thankful. 
and um, plant-based hot dogs. Me, 